Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. And we're going to do some bedtime yoga. Yoga to get you ready for just a wonderful night's sleep. Um, things to quiet your mind, to quiet your body, to let go of the stresses from the day, and just to prepare you for a wonderful slumber. So comfortable clothes, my friends. You can be on your bed, you can be on your mat, anywhere you want to be. Giving yourself some time to just tune out. Um, dim the lights if you like. Find some place quiet away from everybody. This will be fairly quick. It's not going to be a long, lengthy session. Just enough to get you in that great space and ready for bed. So just finding a seated position. Rest your hands comfortably wherever that may be, in your lap, over your knees, whatever feels good. And just close your eyes. We're going to take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. The gift of breath is a powerful one. Not just getting us moment to moment, but to really help quiet the mind and the body. To signal to the body and mind that it is time to be at ease, to let go of that need to produce, to go, 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 but rather time to slow down, to settle in, and find that sense of peace. Let's keep those eyes closed and just slowly walk the hands forward, releasing down. Elbows can be bent, arms can be long. You can rest on a pillow. You can let gravity do the work. Really, it's just about that release, forward fold, letting go of any tension in your lower back, your glutes, and then just really let that head be heavy. If you don't have a pillow or a block or anything, you can always stack your fists for the forehead to rest against. Just a gentle place to quiet, to breathe. And let's slowly walk those hands back up, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna come forward and up onto all fours, extending your arms out and sitting your sit bones back to child's pose. And just breathe. So we take time to find space within each pose to use those breaths to help let go of tension or resistance that might be hiding. Connecting with the breath, and again, using that breath to quiet, to surrender to a place of peace. We're going to lift just slightly, enough to open up those knees about the width of your mat, and then gently press it back to extended child's pose. We're going to turn that left cheek to the mat, extending one arm out to a T and the other, and just let your upper body surrender against the earth. Close your eyes and just breathe. We bend the elbows and pull those hands in just enough to press ourselves back up. Turn and place that right cheek to the mat. And then once again, slide those arms back out to a T. Relax the weight of the upper body down. And again, with those knees open in our extended child's pose, plenty of room for your tummy and your chest.
Once again, bending those elbows, pulling those hands back in. We lift just enough to extend those arms out in front. And release it down to extended child's pose. Chin, take your forehead to the mat. And just let that upper body be heavy. Inhale, lift the forehead, press through the palms of the hands enough to lift and bring those knees back towards one another. And once again, child's pose. We lift and walk those hands to the left, reaching through your right fingertips and pressing your hips to the right and just release the weight of the upper body down. Nothing crazy, guys. Gentle and kind. Really get that body. Inhale, lift, walk those hands back to center. And then over to the right, reaching through those left fingertips, press your hips to the left and release the weight of the upper body down. So if we stretch too far, we start to get that body into a fight or flight mode. That is not where we want to be. We want to hover down in the three, four, five range where it's just this really nice stretch and this release of tension. Not a ton of work. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center. And once again to child's pose. As you're ready, walk your hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around and go ahead and slide on down just to give yourself some room behind you. So if you're on your bed or you're on your mat, wherever you need to be, just slide down so you've got room behind. We're going to draw those knees in and just very carefully rolling back. Pulling the knees in towards the chest, hands shift to just above or below the knees on top of those shins and just gently pull and a rock side to side. Focusing on that breath. Nice little massage for the back, helping to realign the pelvis. So nice. We come back to center. Release the hands, lift your feet as though you were going to stand on the ceiling. We're going to open up the knees just a little bit wider than the width of your rib cage and reach up, taking a hold anywhere along the outside of your legs at the ankles or take a hold at the outside edge of your feet. Pressing the tailbone towards the mat and just do a gentle pull of those knees down towards the earth. Dead bug or happy baby. So there is a little bit of activation going on through the core, helping to keep that tailbone down and through the arms, actively pulling those knees towards the mat, but nothing too intense. Find your breath, connect that breath to whatever part of your body needs it the most. Let the tension go in the neck, soften those shoulders, just let the arms be heavy and release the intensity with those arms and let's just gently sway side to side. Those legs can do whatever they want to do. So if they want to extend, they can extend. Maybe one is bent, maybe one is long, both are long. You can keep it in both knees bent, whatever feels good, my friends, and you can switch it up. Mm, coming back to center, release the hands, pull the knees in towards the chest, releasing one foot to the mat and then the other. Let's open up those feet to about the width of your mat or a little bit beyond and extend those arms out. We work to keep the pelvis level and we're just going to let that right knee fall to the inside. We are not going to power through. We are not going to be as strong and really press that knee down. I just want you to let gravity take a hold. But I want you to be mindful of that right hip. Again, we're working to keep that pelvis level rather than lifting. So really keeping that pelvis down that right side. Just working the mobility in the hips. We have a tendency to hold a lot of negative energy in our hips. So we just want to let it just gently drift away. Releasing that right side and now that left knee comes in. 
and breathe. And gently release that left side. Let's heel toe those feet in to about hip width apart. Toes are pointing straight ahead, heels right up by your bum. Hands travel right down by your hips. Tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat and just gently begin to peel your spine off the mat. One vertebra at a time. Up to bridge pose. Uh, at the top of bridge pose, give those buns a gentle squeeze. Knees in line with those hips. Just checking in. And slowly we release it down. One vertebra at a time. So your bottom is the very last touch. Go ahead and slide that left leg out. Pull your right knee in. Right arm extends out to a T. Left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders against the earth. And then turn and take your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes and breathe. Let the weight of that left arm along with gravity, influence the stretch. You just focus on your breath. Those eyes softly closed. Just a little introduction to that good night's sleep. Those eyes softly closed and the body letting go. Releasing that left hand, rolling back to center. Go ahead and place that right foot to the mat. Slide your leg on out and pull that left knee in. Left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Oh, and turn your gaze out over that left arm. Hopefully you are a good sleeper. Sleep just comes easily to you. And you can stay fast asleep until morning when it's time to wake up and you wake up feeling refreshed. That's what we hope for. If for whatever reason you have trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up refreshed, all my friends try doing this session before bed. Just to prepare yourself. Uh, and my hope is that it makes such a big difference. I know it does for me, and I know it does for a bunch of people I know. I hope that is true for you too. Releasing that right hand, rolling back to center. Let's go ahead and place that left foot to the mat. Pull that right foot up, bring the soles of the feet together, and allow those knees to open out wide. Resting your hands comfortably. Find your breath. Now, if you are in bed, I invite you to stay there, to stay where you are or extend those legs out long. If you are on your mat or on the floor and you have a wall close to you, take just a moment and let's come to legs up the wall. So as you find that comfortable place, whether you've stayed in that reclined butterfly, you've extended those legs out long to corpse pose, or transition to legs up the wall, we're just gonna take a few moments to breathe. to be still with those eyes gently closed our jaw relaxed we feel the weight of our body just gently melt
we receive that invitation and that wonderful sleep. Accepting that invitation for time to replenish, to allow the mind and the body to heal, to rest, to just be. There's a lightness within our being, a quietness in the mind, and just a gentle love in the heart, welcoming that restful slumber. I invite you to remain here for just a few more moments. Giving yourself permission to just be. My wish for you a super restful night's sleep, to wake up feeling refreshed, wishing you all the best, sweet dreams. Sleep sweet and Namaste.